Welcome back to John's Films. Today we're looking at three mistakes I've made when building computers for video editing. In fact, the first one is with this Thread Smoker machine over here. Yeah, see, I built it back when Threadripper 1 had just launched. And the Threadripper IHS, or the heat spreader, is about meh, that big. And when you look at a heat spreader that big, you're looking at cooling a bunch of space. So I didn't want to go with just your standard airflow. I wanted to look for something that was akin to a custom loop in cooling, but that wouldn't take that much maintenance. So I did a bunch of benchmark reviews, I read a lot, I watched a lot of YouTube, and found the Intermax LickTech. When I first installed it, I had fantastic results. In fact, 30 to 40 degrees, 45 under extreme load, which is 20 degrees under the thermal throttle point. Well, how do I know that? Uh, that's because they used two different materials on the inside of that loop. They used a copper block, and then they used an aluminum radiator. And what happens is called galvanic corrosion. In fact, if you see the picture here, it ate through the copper base plate. And so it was now flowing water from the copper block around the filters and the fins, which were cooling everything, and it really dove in performance. In fact, after six months, I could barely keep it under 60 degrees. And if I really got it working, I could easily thermal throttle the processor. So this was the worst choice I made. It was also the second worst choice I made because I returned it to Intermax. They were great, stood behind the product, and they shipped me a LickTech 2. Hey, that's fantastic. New version, problem solved? <laughs> Not so much. Six months later, same problem. Boing. So I returned that one, got a third one, Intermax, great support on this, and uh, sold it on eBay. So that's how that worked out. Got a knock to a cooler, never looked back. Now, the next mistake I made was putting two 1080 Ti's in this thing. Yeah, I took two of these giant graphics cards and shoved them into what was um, ATX board. Now this is fantastic, except for both of these had AIOs included as well. This made things a touch cramped. And anytime I needed to do anything like say, I don't know, deal with that stupid Intermax cooler, I had to take apart basically the whole system. You know, I was trying to avoid a custom loop because of all the maintenance and whatnot, and it felt like I was doing all that work anyway. So when the 2080 Ti launched, and I was pretty excited about finding out that ray tracing goodness, what does that look like? Uh, I sold both the 1080 Ti's on eBay and bought a 2080 Ti. This was mistake number two. And the reason it's mistake number two is because my overall performance in video editing went down. Now you might say, well, in SLI or in shared configuration, the 1080 Ti's would mirror their memory and therefore you only get more compute, you don't really get more in texture management, that's true. Except for DaVinci Resolve doesn't use SLI anyway. And when we looked at the benchmarks that I've built, when I had the two 1080 Ti's, I was killing it. When I went to the 2080 Ti, in fact there's a video linked above, um, it was a mistake because it ended up having worse performance. Now, sure, it's been really helpful when it comes to the new neural engine that's in DaVinci Resolve 16, and maybe I was just a visionary looking off into the future, but uh, that wasn't it. Uh, but basically, I wasted money because I had two perfectly good 1080 Ti's. They are fantastic video editing cards. Even just one of them would be a killer setup right now. I didn't need to upgrade, so that was just wasted money. The next thing you may have noticed as we've gone through here is there's a touch of RGB in my system. So the RGB has been a major attractant for my kid when looking at the computers and getting into computers, but it's also created a massive headache for me. So check this out. This is the back of the thread smoker machine. When I was putting all the fans in, the RGB controllers, the strips, the power for it all drove me insane. So cable management became absolutely miserable. So you tell me, what mistakes have you made when working on your editing rig? Have you made some bad purchases? Have you configured it the wrong way? Let me know below in the comments. I'm interested in learning from you and your mistakes as you've learned from mine. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And be sure to hit that like button so others can find this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.